Okay, everybody, welcome back. It's Big Al. Uh, I've got a challenge locking device. Uh, it's from K1 Locks, which is it's a badass challenge lock. But uh, I put Schlage with a question mark right here because uh, there is no, absolutely no uh, name, no number. There's no other identifiers. I mean, he's got just a, his name on the key tag, so I didn't know. Uh, there's, like I said, there's. it's not a number, nothing. It's not a name, nothing, so... But uh, it is a challenge lock, obviously, um, from K1 Locks. And I can tell you right now, it's badass. Let me get zoomed in a little bit here, or a lot of bit here. Uh, there's the bidding on the key. Where am I at? Right here. Uh, it is. It's badass. Because, <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's in the open position right now. I just was stabbing this thing for probably, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes until I got that sucker open like that. I mean, it's a beast. Uh, so I'm going to lock it back. Well, if I can, let's use the key. And it's also kind of, uh, it's, it's, uh, I don't know if it's just that back piece, but it, it drags both ways pretty good. Like, uh, I don't know, it's just maybe grimy. It could just be old. I don't know. Uh, you know, we all used, uh, we all use, use locks when we make these usually, so. But it does work. It works fine both ways, so. Uh, no worries there. It's just, like I said, a little grimy, a little sticky maybe. Alright, so let's uh, see if I can't do this while the camera's on now. We all know how that goes. I am going to go uh, counterclockwise again because that's how I just got it. And go for the gusto. Yeah, I was stabbing on this thing, man. And I did notice, um, I'm going to try to avoid it this time around, but I believe it's five... There's some kind of overset uh, trap or something back there because I, I kept on uh, lifting it and failing epically. So let's see if we can't uh, see if we can't get around it this time around. And it doesn't help that it's kind of gooey because uh, it really takes away from the feedback big time. I got a little bit. I want to say that was three. There's two. Okay, so we got a little, little baby turn on it. Little baby, a little bit more. Yeah, there's something, something really funky. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try now. What I ended up having to do, I think I'm there. I'm going to take this shotgun or toothpick thing out of the bottom and use this uh, uh, one of these dev hooks, SS dev hooks, because that's what I had to do the last time. And try to get around that overset trap if I can. I don't know if that was good or not. <laughs> Soon find out. Got that slight turn back. Yeah, I had to go digging in there with this with this dev hook and get around that that low cut pin. Which I think is right there. Okay, we got some counter. I hope that's not that overset trap. I'm gonna go all the way to the back and come back forward. I don't know, man. Major counter. All right, we tried it. I'm gonna go all the way to the back again. See if we got it set. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Rut row. Oh, there we go. Boom. All right, we got it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was much faster than the first time I did it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get uh, zoomed. Whoops. Let's get zoomed out a little bit here. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, I know it's stuck on the vise, but here we go. We're we're very much open. Fair enough. Okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Stay. All right, where are we at? Don't want to go out of frame. About right there-ish. And we'll go with, what, this one here, I guess. It was on top. I don't remember which one I used last, so. Where are we at? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, bada boom, bada bang, bada bang, bada boom. Bring some light over this way some more. Like so. Uh, we got some flathead screws on the back here. I know uh, you can probably hear my AC. Um, I could not turn that off to uh, to uh, record this because um, it's smoking hot here in Oklahoma right now. It's uh, I mean it's awful, just awful. I'm gonna put this stuff. Uh, I don't need it on there. I'll put it over here. There we go. Okay, so where are we at? You know what? Key does work. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it back up. Oh, that's tight. That's nasty. I'm not even sure that's gonna slide out very good. Yeah, may have a problem here. Uh, shoot. to go for the best here. See what happens. Okay. okay pins are going to be over here-ish. We got it. Okay. Six pins all occupied. Or six chambers rather all occupied. Try to get that out nice and easy. They all needed picking. Very nice. I could see some nastiness already. Looks like a standard. Standard and two. Standard and three. Standard and four. Very nice, man. Well done for uh it's got that less is more uh thing going here, buddy. We've got all standard uh key pins. And then we've got on the core. That is odd because the key pins are all standard and we got threading in one, two, four, and five. We got undercuts in three and six. Hopefully it's picking that up good. Alrighty. Alright, going upstairs. Oh yeah, go this way camera about a boom about a bang yeah buddy like a uh, spool type action going on there number one steel springs wanting to stick to the two is wow that's a weird shaped one it's kind of hacked on this almost in a square form uh, I'll try to get a, a close-up well we will get a close-up on that afterwards but I don't know how well it's gonna pick that up instead of uh, basically instead of cutting it around it's cut on uh, Cut on each side, I guess you can say. Here we've got a T-pin. Oops. 
the spring in the wrong spot. The spring goes over there. Yeah, that's a weird one too. Okay, that was uh, three, so we need a spring for three. Ah. Uh. Did I not get a... Okay, I don't know if there's a... I got one and two out, so I don't... I'm not feeling a spring in three. I don't know. Four. Spool action. Six looks like a two piece something or other. Oh, oh, they're little. Some kind of little balls. Five. It's a T pin, but it looks like it was upside down, or what I would consider upside down. Oh, drunken spool, that's why. Okay. And see if there's a spring in that one, huh? That one's six, so five. Five's got a spring. So I'm missing a spring. I didn't get I didn't get a spring from what was it, three. find a better tool maybe. That'll work. It was a little jacked up little spring squished up in three. It was in there. Alright. Sheesh. All right, let's take a look and we'll get my specs on. And we're going to look upstairs and find, well, actually I actually already did while I was looking for a spring. There's nothing, no mods in the uh, Bible. Okay, so I'm not sure uh, these serrations, um, they probably wouldn't have come into play very much. Uh, the key pins were all flat or standard, so they're pretty smooth. But it did put up a pretty good fight, so I can't say they didn't do anything. Alright. Again, uh, the lock didn't have a name or a number on it, but it's from uh, K1 Locks, and he did send it to me, so thank you so much, buddy, for sending this to me. Uh, it definitely did put up a hell of a fight, uh, so I appreciate that. We're going to come in a little bit here. And we're going to look at some pins. Let's see. Where are we at? All right. Uh, again, key pins, they're all standard. Uh, drivers, we got a uh, spool in one. And this is the one I was talking about. It's kind of, um, it's cut. Uh, I don't know if it's picking it up. It's cut like this side. And then it's, you probably turned it and put a, a slice in it on this side. And then he turned it and put a slice in it on this side so it's kind of square cut uh, maybe you can call it uh driver three uh t-pin we call it that's a t-pin with a serration right here obviously four is a spool five was a uh, drunken spool because it had this wafer pushing on this guy right here and then six was the weirdest one a couple little balls uh not my balls somebody else's balls but uh they were in there Yep, they're not connected or nothing. That may be what, uh, what was giving me a problem, to be honest. Actually, it was a drunken spool, I'm sure. Okay, and then the springs, they do vary. I've got 
steel, steel, copper, copper, steel. That's what it feels like or looks like. Okay, awesome. Uh, K1 locks. Thank you so much. Big Al, signing off.